guys, Chris from Black Rifle Survival. Thanks for stopping in today. We've got a special unboxing, well, soft package unboxing. The box is inside, and what's inside that box is what I want to get to really bad. So, without further ado, I'm going to slice this open, and we'll show you the uh, knife that I bought. That's pretty cool. LT, right? They got quality. LT is, uh, quality is in our name. Pretty cool. So I guess I gotta join the pout house now. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. The lighting in here sucks, so I apologize. So it comes in this little box. Let's see what's inside. Exciting here. So we got wrapping paper. This is a brown leather sheath, dangler style. Really nice. It's got a fairly large fire rod holder. Let's see what the size of this is. That is about a three eighths, three eighths inch fire rod. So I have to find one to fit that. Unless my coglins or any of my other blank ones work okay. And there it is. It's just blank on the other side. Uh, this this is nice, guys. Sorry, I'm just admiring it. I'll bring it up to the screen. Just a second here. That is a sharp 90. Yeah, definitely very sharp. All right, guys. So this is the LT Ride GNS Scanny. Scandy. I don't know why I said Scanny. Dang, is that even showing up? And the knife itself here. Check the back side. Really handsome knife. Very, very comfortable. This almost feels like a, a smoother, it's micarta, but it's like a very, very smooth uh, texture, if that even makes sense. So it's been sanded or bead blasted down. I don't feel the spine anywhere on the top, so it's not coming out. That feels really nice. Everything's flush. I'll go ahead and read the specs to you guys real quick. So this is made out of 01 tool steel. Um, I've used 01 tool steel on the uh, BHK Woodsman Pro review I did for the outdoor arena. And that was part of my reason for purchasing this knife. Because uh, it came in the same steel. And I already saw the durability of the Scandi on that BHK Woodsman Pro. And I had to say that was impressive. So I basically got the same deal here with LT Wright uh, with the Scandi grind. And this one has a micro bevel, what do they call it, a micro convex for a secondary bevel on here. I might have to put my hand behind to show you guys that. But as you can see, without shaking too much, I'm holding the camera with one hand so I apologize if I'm really shaky. Just admiring this excellent blade. Handcrafted 100% made in the US. We've got the full tang, contoured, and tapered handle. This is the micarta scales here. I forget the uh, rivets that they put in here. Uh, they have a special name for them. And an extra large uh, lanyard hole. So you can fit a nice piece of paracord in there too. But that 90 is just absolutely sharp. Okay, I'm going to put you guys back on the tripod. We'll do a little more talking. So, oh, I'm sorry, the uh, leather sheath itself. So I'm not sure if uh, they make these or they have someone that makes it for them. I'll have to research, but this looks like, I don't know what that label says, Industries. 
something industries down here. So, if ever this company has makes these uh, leather sheets, they're pretty nice. Nice little, uh, no drain hole actually. Interesting. Maybe I need to pop that out. If that'll focus. Yeah, so no, no, uh, drain hole on this one at this point. I like the, uh, sheath honestly on the BHK Woodsman Pro a lot better. I'm just going off of the feel. And, uh, yeah, that one appealed to me more. But this does have a larger D ring shackle, so this is nice too. Ground looks really good. It's got a shallow drop point, it's just continual here, and just goes down. I don't know if that's not a swedge, but I need to get a booklet on uh, the knife types and all the different designs so I can just have a cheat sheet laid out so I'm not guessing or giving you guys false information. I wear a medium sized glove, so medium to large depending. And this fits with extra pommel, pommel room on the back here. Same with the BHK Woodsman Pro I did the review on. The uh, full tang the, at the butt of the knife is flush with the micarta. So again, there's no real pommel for it unless you want to damage the micarta. So keep that in mind when you're purchasing this. So I keep a little tape measure here that I split off just for quick reference. And the steel thickness is an eighth inch. Yeah, so an eighth inch thick. We'll just get it outside. We want to do some um, batoning test with this. I'd like to do some ferro rods, obviously, once I find one that I can bungee in here. Dangler, you can't beat that. Super comfortable to wear it that way. Uh, excellent in my car. These will clean up well. Because they're black, they're not going to show dirt as much, so they're going to look cleaner. O1 tool steel, great stuff, super sharp Scandi, I don't even need to mess with it too much, it's, it's razor sharp. Okay guys, well I appreciate you sticking around for this semi-lengthy uh, rant about the uh, LT Wright's GNS Scanny. again the GNS stands for Go No Show. So this is his go-to knife, the uh, all-around do-it-all. Now LT does have a few other knives like the Bushcrafter and the High Carbon Steel and uh, the Genesis, which I guess has a different handle shape to it and different blade shape. But you can purchase each of these, um, like the GNS for example, you can get it in a uh, saber grind, uh, full flat grind I believe, and the Scandi like this. So he's got multiple options for each knife on the grind that you want. So, Swing by LT's uh, website. He's got an awesome website. Let's see if I have something around here. No, I don't. I'll have to provide that in the link below. But anyways, guys. Oh, there's the website right there. So go check out uh, LT Wright. Pick yourself up a knife. These are pretty cool. This is Chris with Black Rifle Survival. We'll catch you on the next video.